What's going on? Flare fishing fam. We are in Where are we at? We are in Manaus, Brazil. Look at this Absolutely incredible view we have in this hotel. We're in Manaus The whole idea behind this trip is to go catch giant peacock bass hopefully break the world record not setting my expectations too high but it is it is possible but we are out here with john john the man he's here we're also here with the water guys you know the d almighty the jigging with jordan the yappy twan twan those guys are here as well as winston and his son from favorite fishing so we're gonna run down to breakfast see if anyone else is down there you munching on some food we haven't had any food in a while but as you saw yesterday it was just an entire travel day we took us I think it was 15 hours to get here. Yeah, was a long time. From the time we left Nebraska to the time we got here, it was 15 hours. And then today we are taking boat, no, we're taking another plane to the middle of the rainforest. Then getting on a boat and then hopefully doing some fishing. Stay tuned. We are about to get on the water planes. If you guys didn't know, stash season, boys. Gotta gotta rep the stash. If you guys like it? Let me know. If you don't, well, I'm still I'm still gonna be rocking. But we're getting on the water planes. You guys want a water pole? That's probably not the actual word for them, but planes that can land on the water. Absolutely incredible. So these float the plane. Then we're gonna go on the plane. All right. Wish us luck. Oh my goodness, <laughs> look at this. We are in the middle of the rainforest right now. This is absolutely incredible. We are, we gotta head over to the houseboat, unload all of our stuff. There's a boat coming to pick us up right now, but this is, I can't believe this right now. This is an absolute dream come true. We headed to the top or what? This. This is what we're after, right there. That's that's the goal. Look at this. Oh my god! Look at all these baits. This is like heaven, absolutely heaven. Look at this view. Just it just goes and goes and goes. You don't even need a drone. You just get up here. Look at all this. These are all the boats we're gonna take. All of these. All of these little boats are coming with us as we float down the Amazon River chasing peacock bass for an entire week. I believe we're going 300 miles. We're going to float 300 miles in total. It's going to be absolutely incredible. I am just I am just in awe. This is this is something I've only experienced my entire life. Never thought I'd get the chance soon. It's actually happening. It's pretty incredible. All right, boys. <laughs> there's big ships and there's small ships and there's fast ships and there's slow ships. But there's nothing like our friendship. <laughs> 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 what do you think? This ain't Nebraska anymore. This is home. This is home. For tonight, right? For tonight. Look at this. This is where we're parking the houseboat. Absolutely gorgeous. We literally pulled up on a random beach in the middle of the Amazon freaking river. But tonight, before we eat food, or maybe after we eat food, I'm not sure, we're gonna try to catch some piranhas. Cause like, apparently there's piranhas around here. We're gonna try to eat some hand lines, some piranhas. I don't know. We're gonna do something, but it's just crazy. Absolutely gorgeous, peaceful, all this stuff. Before I forget, you, you guys at home watching this can do exactly what I'm doing right now, I will leave a link in the description below. Ron Speed Jr., that's who you know has the resort down in Mexico, Commodore, where we call us Giant Bass. This is his place too. So if you guys wanna come do experience what you guys are gonna see in this video, and hopefully in several videos after this, click the link down below, you can check them out. And uh, I mean, it's, it's state of the art stuff, as you guys can tell. Everything out here is just absolutely incredible. Hopefully the fishing is just as amazing. We got the rig. Oh yeah, they're set up. We got the rig. Look at this, our hand, hand fishing rig. Yeah, Did you make these? Yeah. Nice, I like it. How deep do we go? On the bottom. On the bottom? I was not expecting that. All right, so we got these little handmade 
contraptions, and then we got a piece of ribeye, and it actually smells really, really good. But I guess this is good piranha bait. We're gonna see if we can catch some piranhas. As you can tell, it's getting pretty dark, so we'll see what we'll see what happens here. This gonna be really interesting. <laughs> that didn't work. Do we let it sit or do we bring it in? Sit. No, do we do we bring it in though? Yeah. I don't think she knows what's going on. I'll just see you do it. You do it. Oh, okay. Yes. Messy. Throw some. Is there that can over there still? I got one. No way. No way. Oh my god. What is that? Here, here, really. I don't know how to get it. Just throw it out of here. Bring it all he was just explaining it how to do it to me. Get the hell out of here! Wow! You caught a catfish. Wow, so Colton just caught a catfish while we were fishing for four piranhas literally by hand line. Unreal. Dinner? Oh, dinner. Oh, she's taking it. Oh. So the original goal was piranhas, and uh, we got like five, six guys hand lining, and I threw it out explaining it to one of the other guys, and my line took off, set the hook, and I got a beautiful catfish. I don't know what kind, what uh, what species it is. Cook over here, she's gonna uh, fry it up, aren't you? What? You gonna fry it up? Yes. Can I hold it? Hold. Look at this beauty. Catfish ready. It's gonna be really good. I'm excited. We gotta try the catfish first though. Colton. Is that the catfish? Trying your catfish. That's good. Tastes like catfish? Tastes like catfish, yeah. How far away are we? How many miles? From home? That's not far a enough. Four thousand. That's not a channel though. Tastes the same. It's not a blue. Don't taste great. What do you think? Tastes like catfish. There you go, tastes like catfish. Well, just finished up dinner, absolutely delicious. Now we got to, uh, wow, look at this. Look at all these bugs. There's a whole village of them up here. Oh God, how are you guys not dying? Well, you are, look at him, look at him. <laughs> look at this dude. This is just like eye candy to any fisherman. So for, for those of you guys that do not know, this is called a chopper, okay? Wood chopper, that's what pretty much everybody uses up here. So we're gonna be using a little bit of this, and uh, where are the lipless is at? And then these, look at these suckers. Big lipless crankbaits, some jerk baits, some spinner baits. It's basically just bass tackle, like turned up a notch. It's pretty it's much like all we're gonna be using. Bass tackle on steroids. Yeah, bro. bass bass tackle on steroids. It's <laughs> all the reason. So we gotta get rigged up for tomorrow using 80 pound braid, bait casters, and uh, and everything like that. So <laughs> you got them. You got them all. Don't you worry. You got them. <laughs> What are your expectations tomorrow? Excited. What's the biggest fish you're gonna catch? That I wanna catch? 10, 10 or 12. Tomorrow, what's the biggest bass you're gonna catch? I wanna say seven pounds, four ounces. So that's very specific. What about you? I'm saying I'll take anything above 10. That's, that's a nice fish, so. What about you? Biggest one you're gonna catch? Let's 10 hear it. pounder. 10. Oh, finally done. With day one, well, actually no, it's day two in Brazil, right? We've been, dude, we left, we left Nebraska like four days ago, it feels like. But tomorrow is the first day of fishing. I'm pretty stoked. I know, uh, I know that guy over there's pretty, pretty stoked. It should be a fun time. This has been an absolute dream trip of mine. Seriously, I can remember like in elementary school, you know, when you write down on the little questionnaire things, you know, what's your dream vacation or, or where could you go if you could go anywhere? For me, it was go to the Amazon and catch peacock bass. And that's just pretty much been a dream of mine since I was a child, and I am finally going to attempt to kind of live that, live out that dream. 
And we'll see what happens tomorrow. Tomorrow sounds like, I don't want to jinx it or anything, but it sounds like it might be the worst day of fishing because of the location. We're having to stay somewhat close by to where we're at now, which is not really great fishing waters because the water, well, the water is so high and that's why the fishing water is not good. But we got to stay here, wait for luggage. We have no luggage, like I have no clothes right now, no luggage. Got to wait for our luggage to come back. And then, uh, and then we're gonna head back up once after tomorrow. We'll head ahead to the good spot. Let's just put it that way. We'll, put, we'll head to the good spot. So tomorrow, who knows? May catch nothing. May catch some small ones. May catch an absolute giant. You don't really know. I mean, you're in the Amazon. You, you really have no idea what you're gonna encounter. There's anacondas out here. There's piranhas. Um, clearly, there's catfish. There's all sorts of stuff that can kill you. There's some frogs, I guess, that can kill you. There's a bunch of stuff. So this week, what you guys can expect is a lot of bass fishing, a lot of peacock bass fishing, but also going after some different species. And then we're going to do some hiking, some some ex jungle exploration videos in hopes to find some anacondas and some just absolutely crazy stuff. Jaguars are running around over here too. It'll be pretty exciting. I'm pretty, pretty stoked. And hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this series. So um, yeah, you guys just stay tuned for tomorrow's episode when we are actually out bass fishing. Really do appreciate the view. Peace.